So in this problem, we're given a map T from R2 to R4, defined like this. So the vector x, which is x1, x2, goes to this vector here, which is 3x1 minus x2, then 2x1 plus 4x2, then minus 3x1 minus 3x2, and then x2 in the last component. And we're supposed to check whether this map is a linear map. Now, a linear map is a map that respects the operations of the vector space, which is addition and scalar multiplication. So to check whether this is a linear map, we've got to check the, uh, the two properties. Um, first, the addition condition, which means that t of x plus y is equal to t of x plus t of y. And secondly, the scalar multiplication condition, which is that t of a scalar lambda times a vector x is equal to lambda times t of x, where lambda is a scalar in R because um, R2 and R4 are R vector spaces and x and y are vectors in R2. So um, that's what we're going to do for this given map t. We're going to check um, whether these two conditions hold. Okay, so first we're going to check the addition condition. So we're going to take two vectors, x, x1, x2, and y, which is y1, y2, and we'll look at t of x plus y, which is t of x1 plus y1 and x2 plus y2. And then we plug it into this map to see what this gives. So we get... Okay, so let's compute what this gives. So we see here that this first vector is just t of x. And the second vector is just t of y. And this means that the addition condition is satisfied. We get t of x plus y is equal to t of x plus t of y. OK, next we have to, uh, we're going to check the scalar multiplication condition. So we take a vector x, x1 and x2, and a scalar lambda. And we look at t of lambda times x, which is t of lambda x1 and lambda x2. So now we apply this map and we get and now we can just pull out the scalar lambda. So that gives us lambda times this vector And now we see that this is equal to lambda times t of x. So here we see that the scalar multiplication um, condition is satisfied. And this means that between both of them, so addition was satisfied and scalar multiplication was satisfied. Um, and the two of them together mean that this map t given here is a linear map. In this problem, we're given another map t from R3 to R2, which is defined like this t of the vector x, which is x1, x2, x3, gives us this vector here, 3x2 squared minus x3 and x1 minus 4x2. And we're supposed to check whether this is a linear map. Now to me, this already doesn't look good because this polynomial here is a quadratic polynomial. It's not a linear polynomial. So I'm a bit doubtful whether this map can be linear, but let's check. So I've decided that we're going to go ahead and check the scalar multiplication property first. So let's take a vector x, x1, x2, and x3, and a scalar lambda. And let's look at t of lambda times x. So plug that into the definition of our map. Um, t of lambda x1, lambda x2, lambda x3 will give...
Now, as we did before, we're going to pull out the, sc the scalar lambda. So we get lambda times. OK, so we get lambda times this vector. And now this doesn't look good because we'd like to get lambda times t of x, but, we've got, but what we've got here is a bit different. It's got an extra lambda there, so it's not exactly t of x. So this shows us that whenever lambda is not 0 or 1, and whenever, whenever x2 is not equal to 0, um, this doesn't work out to be t lambda times t of x. So with this knowledge now, we can pick a counterexample. Let's pick, say, lambda equal to 2 and the vector that doesn't have it, an x2 component equal to 0, so maybe the vector 0, 1, 0. And let's write down a counterexample. So e.g. taking lambda equal to 2 and the vector x equal to 0, 1, 0, we get t of lambda times x. which is t of 0, 2, and 0. So here we get um, 3 times 2 squared is 12, minus 0. And down the bottom we get 0 minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And we'd like to see whether this is equal to lambda times t of x. Um, so lambda times t of x. is 2 times t of 0, 1, 0 is 2 of 3 and minus 4. So this is 6 and minus 8. And we see that these two are not equal exactly because in the first component we run into a problem. We've got different numbers there. So this shows us that t of lambda x is not equal to lambda times t of x, which means that um, we've got a counterexample to the scalar multiplication um, condition, and that shows us that this map is not linear. Mm -hmm.